2.5c, add and subtract fractions with different large denominators. We may have to use prime factorization to find the LCD, although I generally prefer to use just a factorization because I find it to be much quicker. So I will show you that, but we can always re um, fall back on a prime factorization to find the LCD. To build up the LCD, we multiply by any missing factors. So for instance, if we had two numbers like 18 and 27, we could easily find the um, LCD by looking for common factors between the two. I notice that the largest common factor between 18 and 27 is 9. So if I use that as my common factor, 18 is 9 times 2, 27 is 9 times 3. And then just like we did when we did the prime factorization, I will take each unique factor, in this case, 9 times 2 times 3, and I'll get that the LCD then is 54. This is exactly what you would get if you did the prime factorization. 18 would be 2 times 3 squared. 27 is 3 times, oops, not 3 times, 3 cubed. And so when we would do the LCD, we would get 2 times 3 cubed, which again would give us, whoops, 54. I can't write 54, sorry. So let's take a look at our examples. In example 1, we have 24 and 36. I notice that 12 is 12, or not 12, 24 is 12 times 2, and 36 is 12 times 3. So that means that my LCD then is going to be 12 times 2 times 3, or in other words, 72. So I take 7 24ths and I want to read that, rewrite that as something over 72 plus our 11 36. Again, I rewrite that as something over 72. If I look at my 24, Twenty-four is twelve times two. It is missing the factor of three. So I'm going to multiply then twenty-four by three. Seven times three is twenty-one. When I look at my thirty-six, I have twelve times three. I am missing the factor of two. So I'm going to multiply 36 by 2. And 11 times 2 gives me 22. Add these up, and I'm going to get 43, 70 seconds. I have no common factors. So my answer then is 43, 70 seconds. Let's look at 54 and 90. Now, 54 and 90 share a common factor of 9. So this would be 9 times 6 and 9 times 10. Now this one here is a little bit different as far as what we were doing before and where prime factorization might be just as easy as doing this way. But 6 and 10 both have a common factor. And because they do have a common factor, I need to break those down a little bit more. So 9 is 9 times 2 times 3, and 90 is 9 times 2 times 5. So that means our LCD then is going to be 
9 times 2 times 3 times 5, which is going to give us 270. So I need to write my 5 over 54 equal to something over 270. And I need to write my 7 ninetieths. So I need to move my negative up to my, with my 7 as something over 270. If I look at my 54, I have 9 times 2 times 3. And so I'm missing the factor of 5. So that means I'm going to multiply this by 5, giving me 25. When I look at 90, that's 9 times 2 times 5. I'm missing my factor of 2. So I'm going to multiply sorry, not 2, 3. So I'm multiplying by 3 here. So negative 7 times 3 gives me negative 21. Kind of run out of room here. So we'll write it off to the side. We're going to get 4 270ths. Both are divisible by 2. So if I divide by 2, I'm going to get 2 over 135 for my answer.